Singapore chef Bjorn Chen is a culinary rebel who likes to reinvent traditional dishes. But here on a trip to Vietnam's food heartland, the Mekong Delta, he hopes to preserve local foods, especially those being threatened by climate change. Salinity levels are rising because the seas are rising and flowing into the rivers and thereby making a little bit of havoc on uh, the ecosystem. On a tour of the farmer's market in Bentre City, Shen meets with Tam Van Pham from the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, an organization that's actively working to help thousands of farmers in the province deal with their changing environment. Not impacted by climate change. It cannot live in uh, Selai water. Shen learns that Ben Tre province is famous for farming shrimp and catfish, important to local cuisine and the local economy, where export sales generate more than 200 million US dollars a year. But now, as sea levels rise due to climate change, salt water is entering into freshwater canals, putting shrimp, catfish, as well as rice and many vegetables at risk. Those are the main uh, food of the, of the farmers here. So they use it every day. And of course, when uh, it is imparted, they find hard to live. To give meaning to what changes in the weather are doing to local cuisine, Pham takes the famous chef to meet a local farmer. Hong Van Dang. And what better way for the two to talk about food than to cook together? You know, I've been to um, French culinary school myself. We used to do these things called tornade potatoes and carrots. And, um, you know, I used to think that it was challenging. Wait till we try this <laughs> with a machete, no less. On today's menu, sour catfish soup, a classic Vietnamese dish. But here in the heart of the Mekong Delta, Hong Van Dang says many of the ingredients, not just catfish, are threatened by climate change. Climate change is affecting some of our vegetables. When the water is salty, they don't grow. So we've had to find some other vegetables to use in this soup. If uh, salinity levels keep rising, I really do hope that the people over here adapt to uh, what's happening because uh, we don't want to lose this uh, amazing food culture. Adapting is part of Shen's message. There may be little farmers like Hong Van Dang can do to slow climate change, but now with some help from organizations like IFAD, there are things farmers can do to help themselves. Over the next six years, adaptation to climate change in the Mekong Delta, a 50 million US dollar project financed by IFAD and the Vietnamese government, will set up centers to monitor and forecast salinity, improve irrigation canals and dikes, and help farmers find income alternatives as the environment changes. I think what we really want to do is to get, you know, get people to learn how to adapt to these changes so that even though the new future might not be exactly the same as what's happening now, but at least these things are not completely lost. Today, Shen's exploration of climate change in the Mekong Delta ends with lunch. And for the moment at least, the taste of sour catfish soup that has endured for centuries lives on. I'm going to make a restaurant just selling this. And I'm going to put your face on the door. <laughs> <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs>